and welcome to Airgun Web and our series called Rough Cut. Today we're going to take a look at a device that'll take the extra volume out of your tank and convert it to usable pressure for your airgun product. Now if you've been shooting PCP air guns, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You've got a 3,000 PSI tank, you've got a 3,000 PSI air gun. Once the tank drops below 3,000 PSI, you're never going to get a full charge into your gun anymore. Now there's a lot of ways around this. You can top it off with a hand pump. Well, as you can see, it's not something I'm terribly into. You can purchase a high pressure tank like a uh, SCBA, which is your 4,500 PSI tank. But once you're down below 3,000 PSI, you're, you're still in the same boat as you were with a standard aluminum tank. Now there are some other products that'll take just the air off your compressor and fill your gun, but they can be slow. And also then you're dealing with how clean is that air that's getting into your product. Well, today's product we're going to take a look at today is a booster. Now, what this will do is it'll take that extra volume and convert it to pressure. That's a very, very cool thing. Let me show you how this works. All right, so we've got our setup all ready to go here. Now, on our bench, we've got an ATP2 tactical pistol, and we have a standard AT44 cylinder, and both of these products are from Hot Sun USA. Now, we need to get these filled up, and right now they have about 50 to 75 bar in them, which is nowhere near the 200 bar they need to be. 200 bars around 2,900, a little bit more PSI. Our tank only has 1,800 PSI in it. Now, if I just connected the tank to these, the most we're going to get is 1,800 PSI, period. Doesn't matter, this has a lot more volume than these little tanks. 1,800 PSI is only going to give us 1,800 PSI. Now, this is where our booster comes into play. The booster ships with the fill assembly that you need to go from the booster to your air gun. It comes equipped standard with a Foster Quick Disconnect, allowing you to go directly to a gun that's similarly equipped, or you can buy the little adapter to go on most probes. Hook that up. What the booster does not come with is the attachment that you're going to need to go from whatever your high pressure source is to the high pressure side of the booster. Now, I've got this cable that simply is a K valve assembly into an adapter that feeds the high pressure side. Depending on what you have for that HPA source, you're gonna to need to find this part of the equation. On the back side of the booster, we have the 100 PSI input. This is fed from a compressor or any other 100 PSI source. One thing you can do is have another scuba tank and have it regulated down to 100 PSI, and you can actually operate this system without any electricity, which is perfect for the field. Let's go ahead and see how this is gonna work for us. We've got 100 PSI input, we've got our valve. Let's go ahead and fill the cylinder. Okay, tighten all this up. I'm gonna open this up, make sure our relief valve is tight. Here we go. So we're right at about, eh, maybe about 1800 PSI. So how are we going to take this extra volume and convert it to pressure is we're going to use the 100 PSI on the back side to compress a diaphragm. It's going to compress the high pressure side. It's going to convert all that volume into pressure. All you need to do is flip this lever and release. You just do this as many times as you need to get your rifle or cylinder up to the desired pressure. Now, the more air that you have in your scuba tank, the higher pressure you have in your scuba tank, I should say, the quicker this process will go. Okay, now we are at 3,000 PSI. We can go ahead and Shut off our valve, undo the relief, and now a cylinder that could only previously been filled to 1800 PSI is now to the full 200 bar. Since we already have all this connected, let's go ahead and top off our pistol too. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and plug in our probe. Okay, make sure our valves are tight, relief valve is shut. Open this valve, this is going to allow that high pressure air to flow through as high as it can go. Alright, and we are now at about 1800 PSI. Now again, to 
continue adding pressure into your, into your air gun. We're simply going to work this valve. And what you'll know or notice, this takes much fewer turns of the pump here to get to full pressure because our volume in the pistol in the cylinder is much less. So that's how you operate the high pressure air booster. It takes the volume out of your tank and what high pressure you have and compresses it with 100 psi on the back side and forces that volume into more pressure into your air gun. I tell you, the value that this delivers to the average air gunner means that a tank that would have been set aside to go to the scuba shop after maybe a dozen or so fills is now usable a lot more. I've probably got 50 or 60 fills, which I would have never gotten out of this tank, I've been able to get because I have this booster. So you can imagine just how useful this is going to be to the average air gunner. Well, this wraps up another episode of Rough Cut. Thank you for joining us today. Information about where you can acquire this product will be on the video description here on YouTube, as well as linked on my website. So definitely visit www.airgunweb.com for more information, or make sure you read the description is in my videos because I always list links to the products used right there. Again, my name is Rick Utzer with Airgun Web. Thanks again for watching.